Hey guys, Buffing Game Back today, bringing our video, and today we're going over some more Modern Warfare 2 coming out this year, Modern Warfare 2 in 2022. Uh, going over some more Modern Warfare 2 information regarding the multiplayer overhaul with some new gameplay examples for modes, which offer a team based objective attackers versus defenders type mode, similar to something along the lines of Rainbow Six Siege with the concept, as well as something similar to Insurgency Sandstorm. So, We'll go into this video. I'm going to link down below Ralph's Valve over on Twitter. He's the one providing this information. He definitely has some inside sources as well as some other individuals like uh, Tom Henderson, Modern Warfare 2 OG. But Ralph's Valve is the one that reported this. So give him credit where credit is due. He has some really good information over on his Twitter. If you go back through, he's kind of was the first person to report anything in regarding uh, Modern Warfare 2 that I saw before Tom Henderson or anybody else. And uh, if things pan out to be true, I'm very excited. He's even gone into detail with some things like the gunsmith so far as well. So today's subject is going to be the new Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer mode being attackers versus defenders type mode. So first off to preface this by saying multiplayer for Call of Duty has kind of gotten very stale. And I know this is a topic I've seen a lot of other creators uh, touch upon is, is the multiplayer for Call of Duty dead now that we have Warzone? So with Warzone, basically multiplayer just serves the standard 6v6. Maybe Search and Destroy, obviously, is probably the biggest multiplayer mode out there as far as competitive goes. But when we look at multiplayer, the regular 6v6 mode just really hasn't been doing it for a number of years now. It seems to be more of like, especially now, a gateway just to, or a bridge, I guess, to unlock up upgrade weapons in order to use them in Warzone. Now that Warzone has been introduced with Call of Duty Modern Warfare in 2019. So... How do you retain players for the multiplayer part of your game as well as have some sort of competitive mode? And obviously we've seen Call of Duty evolve over the years and this seems to be, if this is true and does end up being a mode or some type of mode uh, that's maybe, maybe developed and there may be some changes obviously going forward, but if this is the type of mode that we're going to be seeing introduced, this could offer a, a different, I guess, a different flavor of Call of Duty multiplayer going forward which uh, will allow it to be separate and have its own identity from Warzone again um, and have a good competitive type mode. So, Modern Warfare 2 Attacker versus Defender mode. What Ralph says about this is that the map will be similar fashion to Call of Duty 4's CQB test, though much larger in scale. So I can just think here about the Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2019 single player maps like the Wolf Den and um, Clean House, where you're going in these CQB slow moving type environments especially clean house you got to go i think it's three or four floors you need to group up and approach that very tactically so that's the kind of map that we'll see or type of maps we'll see are these cqc uh type invasion i guess uh tactical you need to go in tactically and clear a house something like that the cqb type engagements where you need to play a role team play is going to be a big part here it seems like if this is true so there'll be attackers and defenders the attackers each player is going to be assigned a designated role per perhaps a general vote, uh, which with one nominated team leader between each passing round. So each round you'll get to uh, so probably, so I'm assuming it'll end up being instead of a vote, like maybe you'll vote for the leader and select a role yourself. All teams will be given a debrief period allowing for roster reform and obviously to maybe formulate a plan. There are also going to be a condition system. So this will be as far as your injuries per round. So the condition system is going to be something along the lines of minor, critical, mortally injured. Now attackers will be privileged with tourniquets to aid fallen teammates. Although depending on the amount of injuries or the severity of the injuries, uh, the team other teammates will need to take the time to revive you, slowing down and endangering your squad. So think about clean house, for example, if someone went down on the stairs, right? Um, and they're, they're actually mortally wounded in this case you would need to revive them and obviously that makes your squad a sitting duck so you need to obviously that's where team play is going to come in uh to this type of mode now there's going to be a time limit to complete the objective in this mode now defenders to methodize a plan and slow down the, well the goal is to come up with a plan slow down the attack attackers or halt them utilizing hidden locations booby traps and cameras destruction will play a major role here you'll be able to fortify and defend 
uh, the objective itself. So this, again, has major Rainbow Six Siege vibes. However, we're not going to be seeing the roles of, like, the hero-type shooter roles that we'll see here. I'm sure that'll be designated as far as classes and loadouts, but hopefully nothing like special abilities. Uh, Modern Warfare definitely hasn't been following suit with that, so I wouldn't expect to see that. I would just expect to see something along the lines of, like, a class-based system, like Assault, uh, Engineer, or Breacher, Support, things like that, that are more realistic and, and grounded in reality with the Modern Warfare universe. The objective for this type of mode will be to reach or defend the objective's designated area. So, that's where I kind of think of, uh, you know, it could be whether it's planting a bomb or capturing a position kind of like kind of like a conquest or a domination type mode you need to fight in there and, and hold that position in order to, to capture it and then maybe the defenders will have a timeline in order to uh, counter attack that position. Now Ralph also mentions that all this information uh, has been cooper cooperated but is liable to change for the future. Obviously this is very early in development. There's been a lot of modes in the, in the past for Call of Duty that were in development and eventually just never made it to the game. They were canned due to development once it got into the gameplay and things just weren't weren't refined. Obviously the Call of Duty formula for the 6v6, certain destroy type modes um, is tried and proven. So I wouldn't expect to see that go away. However, a mode like this I think would be a lot of fun. And again, like I said, I mentioned Rainbow Six Siege because that's basically what we're talking about here is some type of mode that is going to to enforce team play. Obviously, Modern Warfare, like I said, is not going to fall in line with that hero shooter type gameplay. But to have these close quarters missions like Clean House or the Wolf's Den, where you're needing to clear these buildings, say the objective is on the top floor of this type of apartment building that we saw in Clean House or even the Wolf's Den mission for Modern Warfare 2019, you need to get to that top floor and capture, or maybe it's somewhere in the middle. The, the attackers have reinforced it. They have cameras. They know where, maybe what direction you're approaching from, at least to start. Um, so your team playing communication is going to need to be key. And that's kind of where I, I think of, obviously, Rainbow Six Siege, because everybody has a pr particular role to play. But more so, I think of Insurgency Sandstorm, where team play is very key there. And in Insurgency Sandstorm, especially, like, the hardcore game modes that I play, you need to have good comms. You need to be communicating with your teammate. And in that mode... Well, in the game in general, everybody has a role. There's uh, advisor, breacher, commander, all types of roles that usually you only have one person that can fill that particular role, sometimes two, and everybody needs to, to fulfill their role, and communication is very key in order to complete the objectives and end up winning winning the game. So team play in Call of Duty, I think, is, is a big missing part of this game, and we've seen a lot of tactical shooters see success. Things like Hell Let Loose... Mainly Insurgency Sandstorm here on consoles as well, but World War 3 on PC. We see a lot of tactical shooters coming up now, and I think hopefully Call of Duty and Infinity Ward is smart enough, which I think they are, to take advantage of that hero shooter uh, niche in the community because there's a large amount, or not hero shooter, excuse me, um, tactical shooter, realistic tactical shooter niche in the community who want that type of realism in their game modes. And they did it a little bit in Modern Warfare 2019 with the realism game mode, however, um, adding that with this type of attacker or defender mode, I think would be amazing. And then we'll see things, obviously you have the other modes like DMZ that we talked about. And I think the, the possibilities are through the roof with this, basically just limitless what you can do with this type of mode. There can be objective game modes, attacker and defend in a, in a apartment building like clean house or wolf's den. You can have something like a game mode, maybe like insurgency sandstorm where you're going through like a large scale uh, map kind of like rush mode from the old battlefields you're capturing point a b c d e and you need to get all the way through those uh points in order to win the round the defenders will have to defend it all the way through so things like that i think would make this game a lot of fun especially if they follow suit and try and fill that niche for the tactical milsim type community that we see playing things like sandstorm which i have a blast with sandstorm and you add a little bit of a realism mix to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, especially Modern Warfare 2, I think this is going to be a uh, game of the year. It's going to knock out of the park and be something that I'll want to actually play the multiplayer even after the new Warzone content's release. There's always going to be that, okay, we played Warzone, but maybe Warzone's getting old. Let's go back now and let's play this new mode where we can have a, have a team-based mode, clan games, good things for the communities. Just a lot of good competitive modes like that are what retain players, in my opinion. As long as it's not something crazy with the 
old school, I guess the, the, the bunny hopping 360 type movement system. If we have more of a grounded movement system for modern war from modern warfare and even a little bit slower for these type of realism type modes, I think that would be great. So let me know what you guys think down below this new mode for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 coming out here in 2022. Again, this is all rumored. Go ahead and check out Ralph's Valve over on Twitter. Till next time, this is Buckner Gaming with the new attacker and defender mode possibly coming to Modern Warfare 2 this year. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Till next time, Buffering Gaming, out.